thinking about the, the clouds and and how I could turn it into a positive. And so I was going to talk about how uh, it might be cloudy now, but we know if we wait long enough, the sun will come out. <laughs> and it happened. The sun came out. It's a beautiful day. And I think in many ways, there's a cloud over our political system as well. And we can't just wait and hope for the clouds to go away and for things to get better. It's not like the weather. If we just sit back and do nothing and wait for the clouds to go away, they may never go away and things will get worse. And so all of you just coming out here today, you're helping to clear those clouds out of our political system and bring some sunshine, some sunshine of transparency, sunshine of accountability, sunshine of inclusiveness. Inclusiveness is something that's really been missing in our politics. My slogan for my campaign is, there is no them. Um, it means so much to me that it's also my website, there is no them dot us. And you can think about it on, on many different levels. So on the political level, it really is an appeal to end the us versus them politics that I think is is really hurting our society. It's really hurting our communities. And it's not just a Democrat and Republican thing. It's not just a left and right thing. We are so polarized. We're so divided. We've become so tribal. And everybody has become so certain that their side, that their group is right. And that certainty is dangerous. Because when we're that certain that we're right, everyone who disagrees with us is necessarily part of the problem because they're getting in the way of our solution, which is the only correct solution. We've got to stop doing that because when we otherize those who question our ideas, it gives us permission to harm them, to push them down, to lift someone else up, to hurt one group, to help some other group. The problem with this is it never works. When we divide ourselves and hurt one group to help another group, everyone is hurt. Our community is hurt.